Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is not my normal content, but we just moved to our new house. And as you can see here, my craft shed is a mess. I have not been out here to film in a really long time and I'm really excited to get this moved to the new house set up so that we can get back crafting in here. So this is just going to be an organization video getting the shed cleared out. Anyway you guys I'm really excited to bring you guys along this journey. So with all that being said let's jump into today's video. Okay friends so to see where we're at now, I wanted to take a trip down memory lane where we started. We started in that little corner of my son's room and then my husband and I bought a shed. I was 100 pounds overweight, very embarrassed, but I feel like this shed really gave me my confidence and my independence if you will so my husband literally completely finished the whole thing for me insulation beadboard um like everything it looked absolutely gorgeous so from this part of it or i should say after that part was my turn to get in here and do my thing so i bought shelving and stuff for the pegboard i hung all my ribbon up i just poured my heart and soul into all of my stuff looking pretty and feeling like this was a place that I could craft in and craft to my full potential. So it looked like this for a little bit, but <laughs> as you guys know, if you are a crafter, you quickly accumulate more stuff than you can handle and that's where this shed got to you guys it got unbearable i could not walk the kids hated it in here and it just became a space that i dreaded walking into so <laughs> i literally just shut the doors one day i brought all the stuff inside that i needed for videos for the time being and i just started to craft inside which i feel kind of hindered my creativity a bit so here we are cleaning it out, taking everything out of it so that we could move it to the new house. Now, thank God for my amazing husband because I could have never done this without him, especially pregnant. We had just gotten over being sick. It, it was a whole thing. So he, him and his workers helped us, his employees, I should say, helped us clean this stuff out, get it all boxed up and moved. That way we could have the guy come and move it. Don't smell. <laughs> no smells. <laughs> Babe. They're not supposed to smell. They're not supposed to smell. They're just for decoration. This one's That one smells. I have the camera rolling. Um, my husband and I are dividing and conquering. I have to run and do estimates and some stuff. He's going to get the shed finished, packed up. That's what happens when you're a team. You work as a team. So. Um, I'm going to let it roll and you guys can watch how amazing he is. Y'all, I seriously wish I could be one of those people who just like allows people to help them. He kept telling me, just go babe, it's okay, I got this. But like I, I kept trying to leave and the more I looked around and like all my stuff is just ridiculous. I, the more and more I felt the need to at least contribute. Hey friends, I know I look a little bit different, but I just wanted to pop on here and say thank you to Blue Land for sponsoring today's video because I'm so excited to be sharing their new body wash with you guys. As many of you know, over the past year, I have been consciously trying to make healthier lifestyle changes in our lives 
And that starts with the products that we use in our home. One of the products that I could never find a good one that I liked was body wash. So I've been using bar soap that's all natural bar soap for a while now. But as you know, bar soap is a lot trickier to use than body wash. So I was so excited when Blue Land came out with their powder to gel formula that is not only sustainable, but it's the first of its kind made to be refilled forever. That way you can just get the powder and refill it over and over. You don't have to throw away a plastic bottle once you're done with it. The body wash is literally so easy to use. All you do is turn on your cold water, fill up the bottle to the little mark with your cold water. You're going to pick the scent you want and then pour the powder into the bottle. You shake that bottle for 10 seconds, let it sit for an hour, and you're good to go. Not only do all the scents smell amazing, which my favorite is the Water Lily Dew, Blue Land only uses the finest ingredients such as oat, vitamin E, vitamin B, kaolin clay, and it's also free of sulfates, paraben, aluminum, and phthalate. I also love that it's not only safe for you, but it's safe for the planet, and I don't worry about if my kids want to use it or not. Now, the last thing I wanted to mention is that this body wash is actually better than shaving cream, you guys. My legs come out so silky smooth, so don't delay. Go down in the description box, click the link for 20% off your order today, and I want to thank Blue Land once again for sponsoring today's video. Don't miss out on this deal, you guys. Blue Land never does this, so I want you guys to get in on this deal. Again, click the link in the description box below. And with all that being said, let's jump back into today's video. Okay guys, the moment you all have been waiting for, this was my most asked questions. Are you bringing the shed with you? How's it going to get moved? Uh, questions like that every single time I would do a live or I would mention moving, I had a comment like that. So this is the moment we've all been waiting for and this is how they move the sheds. So they have this little machine that the guy kind of like drags out to get onto the like bottom of his truck and then he pulls it up onto his truck. He transports it to the new place and then the process starts like backwards. So he lowers it off of his truck and then he goes in with that little cool machine and he drags it into place. So um, I sped all of these clips up because they were super long and my husband's employee took the pictures or the videos. So that's why they're kind of uh, shaky. But hey, I was not here and they got a video for me, so I'm grateful for that. I'm definitely not complaining, so I'm just going to let this play. You guys can watch this process because I know that this is pretty intriguing to everyone. Now, you guys will see here in a minute where um, he's going to move it next to our new sheds. Um, we actually bought two more carbon copies, one of them for, you know, storage and my husband's stuff. And then the other one is going to be my tool shed. So what will happen is if I need to cut or do anything like that, then I can go into the other shed, cut do all those things and then bring it back to my shed to film in so if you guys want to see a video on that shed let me know um and i can kind of do like a tour of mine and you know show you how i have the other one set up we just haven't had the chance to set that up yet i wanted to get this video out to you guys so anyway this is what it looked like when we got it to the house Thankfully, we did not have to pull every single thing out. And then my sweet husband, I have I have had these shelves for a or these cabinets since November. And I had every intention on 
you know, cleaning my shed up and then we found out we were moving and the story goes on. So he took all my cabinets from the old house for me, set them up for me in there. Like that was a total surprise. Um, I'm so grateful. <laughs> so grateful for him, you guys. He literally just thinks about all day long how he can make my life easier and we're just such a good team and I'm just so blessed to have him. So I wanted to give him a little shout out because I could have never done all of this without him. Never, never, never. So anyway, you guys, <laughs> once we get it to my house and my new house and um, all the cabinets are in, Next is just kind of cleaning it up, getting all the dust out. This thing was so disgusting, you guys, like really bad. So I just wanted to start from a clean slate, um, not all dusty and gross. So I swept it all out, vacuumed it all out, and then wiped down all the windowsills, all the shelves, um, everything that had dust all over it. And as always, it's a family affair, which I would not have any other way. But now I have a huge yard for the kids to run in while I work. And it's going to be a great time. So <laughs> I am so excited to craft in here again. Um, I know you guys missed my crafting. I missed my crafting more than you'll ever know. Um, I kept saying that I was not going to bring a single crafting supply into the new house and I ended up doing it so I could go live because I was just so itching. I was just itching so bad to craft that I could not wait any longer. Now I saw this on Facebook somewhere. This was not my idea. I don't know like who originally posted this but I thought it was an amazing idea to put all my florals in. So my husband made me this little base with a four by four. And then I went to Dollar Tree and picked up 12 um, trash, trash cans, the plastic ones, obviously. Now I only needed 10, um, but these crack really easily. Like when we went to go put the screws in it, they cracked. So it's always good to have backup. So obviously I just arranged my florals in there um, the way that I, I pretty much did them in kind of categories, you know, lamb's ear with the lamb's ear, white flowers, fall flowers, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, once again, I'm going to let this roll because you guys don't need me yapping, but um, if there is something worth noting, I'll pop on. Now, eventually, my plan is to take my transfers off of my pegboard and put those in my new Husky toolbox that will now be my new craft table. You'll see that here in a minute. Um, but I just didn't have time to do all that. So that will come soon because I want to take them down and put like a cute little background on my pegboard. That way I can do like my intros there. So that's definitely coming. But just like everything else that will come with time i just wanted to get in here and get started crafting again i'm telling you guys i could not wait another week to get this done i mentally and physically just had to do it
as much as a pain as much of a pain as this was to do and as much as I dreaded it I'm so glad that I got the opportunity to do this because it allowed me to move things around that needed to move things around it allowed me to pull everything out of here and start over fresh which I'm super grateful for so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a different angle. Now, if you guys are not following me on TikTok and Instagram, I do all kinds of fun things over there. A lot more of my personal life. You can find me at All Things Crafty too, both places. But this is just a different angle of me working in the shed. I set myself on time lapse and let it go. And then this is Mark bringing in my new table. I don't know why it wasn't on my computer. I know I hit the record button, but uh can't not i said computer on my camera um cameras are wonky sometimes but look how gorgeous my table is i'm dancing because i'm so excited to have it now this thing was expensive but it was worth it because it has the adjustable tabletop at the um back and i'm just dancing here because that's how i kind of work out while i'm working i kind of keep my body moving and um thank god for my ketones because i would definitely not have the energy to do all this and i was also dancing because i was so excited to have my table like i said um, if you guys want info on the ketones that's also how i lost all my weight the healthy way i drank a drink and it literally put my body into a state of ketosis in less than an hour burning my fat for fuel and you don't have to do like strict exercise or diet and that's the beauty of it so if you guys want info um go on facebook and friend request me send me a message or send me a message on facebook or instagram um like i said all those links are in my link tree down below so anyway i put my glide gear on my table that is what holds my lighting and my camera now i'm i've had this glide gear for over a year and for a lot of projects it's just a little bit too low so i might have my husband like screw the bracket for me onto the two by four above my craft table with my lighting that way i don't have like a big portion of my table um like blocked off if that makes sense but we'll see again that's another thing for the future rome was not built in a day and um eventually i'll have things the way that i want them so here i am just taking all my paints out having them right here in my toolbox which is ultimately why i went this route to store my transfers and my paste in as well as my paints and have all that stuff that i need for crafting right there at my fingertips when i need it um, i just thought that that was really beneficial because my other table the things were just like scattered all over and although i know that it will end up that way here again um at least i'll have an easy spot to keep putting it away once it gets all cluttered so last but not least you guys this is the final moment i was so happy to get this part done finally vacuum vacuuming it and sweeping it out for the last time before i'm done and this particular day, you have no idea how many times I wanted to quit. I was tired. I have been sleeping a lot. This baby boy loves for me to sleep and eat. And it's challenging some days. But again, I could not wait to get this done. Look how amazing it looks. Oh my gosh. It's like breathtaking. It looks so much better with the white drawer system. I got these at Michael's, if I did not already say that. Um, but I just absolutely am so excited to craft in here again and I hope that you guys will stick around for that journey with me. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share, do all the YouTube-y things. I also did pick some items out to do giveaways so that will be coming as well. I just didn't want to overwhelm myself with too much 
um, in this video. So let me know what you guys think of the new setup. I know it's not much different from the old setup, but I think we changed it up a bit and I love the way that it turned out. So with all that being said, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to add me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Also, let me know down in the comments what part of the craft shed is your favorite and let me know if you guys would like to see like a tour of my craft shed like open the drawers show you what's in everything um kind of show you why i have things in certain places blah 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 so i can do that for you when i do the other shed video if you like but that's totally up to you let me know what you guys think and with all that being said if nobody has told you today you are absolutely amazing stunning and gorgeous you are worthy and i love you with all my heart and soul and also never forget how powerful you are if you can set your mind to something you literally can do whatever you want so with all that being said hope you guys have an amazing blessed night and i'll catch you in the next one bye Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.